Good morning. It is 1.30. I'm a little late to vlogging this morning because I was painting. It's kind of the boring painting because I'm doing like along the ceiling and the base and like around the windows. I was in a, a trance pretty much all morning, but I'm on my way to Trader Joe's. It's going to be quite a drive, but we are getting our fridge today, which is so exciting. We've been living out of a mini fridge. So I need to restock the whole fridge. We pretty much have nothing. <laughs> like kind of get all the condiments and frozen meals and we're pretty far away from from the grocery store so we're gonna be doing a bulk like restock we need food for I feel like a month going to the grocery store every single day is just not it I'm gonna stop and get a Celsius though because I need some caffeine and we shall do some shopping maybe some holiday stuff too if I see some holiday stuff that'd be great and I also want to make a chili tonight so we'll get stuff for dinner and we'll actually make ourselves a nice cozy dinner tonight okay we've got the Celsius How cute is this Trader Joe's? You guys, we got eight bags of stuff and I still have to go to the other grocery store to get the condiments and stuff. So I've got to get ketchup, mustard, and like baby food and stuff at the other grocery store because I like specific brands that Trader Joe's doesn't have, but I got so much food. Okay, this is going to be the fun comment of the day. I want to know what is your grocery store like what grocery store do you guys go to and Tampa in Florida it's um Publix like that's the go-to grocery store and then in North Carolina it's a place called Harris Teeter which I'm pretty sure is owned by Kroger which I know people shop at a lot in Georgia comment down below what is your like state or like area grocery store I'm very curious Harris Teeter is pretty cute it reminds me of like like a Winn-Dixie like an elevated Winn-Dixie Got some water, some crackers, Cheerios for Bryson, sparkling water. These little things are so amazing for babies. Really unique ones like beef and there's like beetroot one. There's a turmeric chicken, just a whole bunch of those. Pasta and then the condiments, the real brands. All right, we've got the fridge. It looks so good. Got our Bryson drawer. Oh, it looks so good. We got this half off at the Best Buy outlet because of a scratch, but there's not really a scratch. Or it might be on the side or something. So this is awesome. And we've got eight bags of Trader Joe's food. So I'm going to do a quick haul and then put everything away. Bag number uno. Got some rice nuggets. These are so yummy. These are actually so good. Like I want one right now. Quick, healthy, like salty scent. Plantain chips. Another healthier, very minimum ingredient snack. Got some eggs. I'm cooking chili tonight, so I got a whole bunch of stuff for the chili. Basics like maple syrup, chips and salsa. I got some blue corn chips somewhere in there. More ingredients for dinner tonight. Minced garlic, peanut butter. Do you think I can do it all in Spanish? Bag number dos. Numero dos. Organic broccoli. Got some asparagus. Can't wait to eat veggies. Oh, I forgot Parmesan. This is the best salad. A little bit of olive oil, sea salt, lemon, and arugula. Like it's, and Parmesan. But the shaved Parmesan, not the like, Pasta parmesan. Yeah, the ones that are like thick, grated, grated. Brussels sprouts. This is actually interesting. Kung Pao Brussels sprouts, and they look pretty seasoned, so I thought if this was in the air fryer, it would be really good. I just literally got as much as I could. That way we can just make a ton of healthy foods. Like, there won't be any excuse to eat unhealthy because our nearest grocery stores are so far away. This is Xander's favorite drink, so I got him some of that. Almond milk, my milk of choice. What's your milk of choice? Are you an oat milk person? Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Okay. Bag number trace. No, 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 no. There's those blue corn chips that I was telling you guys about. Oh my god, you're gonna laugh. Go macro bars. Just a couple. And then just a couple chomps. Ringing this up was a bitch for the lady. I felt so bad. She was like, one, two. And then the go macro. One, two. We've got some healthy nuts. I like to go through nuts. So sometimes I'll do walnuts, sometimes I'll do pecan, or do like a mixed nut. Like I always have some sort of nuts. Numero quattro. We've got more veggies, cucumbers, carrots, more almond milk because we're buying in bulk. And then we've got a lot of meat. So I can freeze some of this, but I got salmon, chicken breasts, two of them. I've got some steak tips. Are you ready for this one? 
bacon. Yeah, Renee says she doesn't even like bacon. I never like bacon, you guys know this, but Ziggy got me hooked because we went to a restaurant in Naples called Seed to Table, which if you guys are from Naples and know that, let me know because that place is actually insane. But they have bacon that's like this thick and I tasted it and it was so good. So I've realized I don't like the cheap bacon. I like the like thick, really yummy seasoned bacon. So I found, I hopefully this, I mean, this looks pretty chunky. Numero cinco. Two of these salami and cheeses. This I actually never had until Z showed me. They're called tamale. Tamales? Tamales? You got it. They're so good. And they're wrapped in corn husk. Two of the infamous oat creamer. Gluten-free waffles. Some cod fillets, again, for Bryson. Got some of the frozen rice. These are so easy and quick. They're like 30 seconds in the microwave. Some veggie pad thai. I love this stuff. This is new. I thought this would be fun and so you could do something fun with this. But it's beef bologna? Bulgogi? Bulgogi. Oh, that's from that restaurant that we always ate in Tampa. Bulgogi. Yeah, this is good. Numero seis. That's right. All right, green onions. Got two bags of spinach. I like to keep one in the freezer for smoothies. I have apples because the horse here likes apples. You can feed the horse apples. Thinking that they eat the whole thing, like you don't have to like take the core off. So I thought that would be fun. Lemons galore butter. Two onions. Now that I think about it, we probably should do a bag next time. Zucchini. Z's. One of Z's favorite foods. Chicken salad. And then some ground tur or ground beef for the recipe tonight. That's really nice. Numero siete. Potatoes. This is one of the yummiest cereals. Probably not the best food, but it's really good. Crackers. Some bananas. Avocados. Smoked Gouda. We always have smoked Gouda in our house. Some berries. Ocho. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. I thought you were on number eight. Ocho. Oh. Siete, seven. Seis is six. Oh. Cinco, seven. cinco, cinco. So, numero. Ocho. Ocho. Nueve, diez. Popcorn. A frozen pizza. Mini chicken tacos. That looks good. Oh. That oh. looks good. Z loves pasta and he likes mushrooms, so I thought a mushroom ravioli would do him fine. Z's gonna get mad at me for this. Okay, I've heard a lot about the unexpected cheddar cheese. I've never had it though. I always thought it was vegan, which is why I thought the whole unexpected name, but it's actually like real cheese. So why do they call it unexpected? I don't know. Peas for Bryson. Got some hash browns for the morning. Cauliflower and gnocchi. And that's the Trader Joe's haul. That's a big haul. So I'm gonna put all the stuff away and organize, which is probably my favorite part about grocery shopping and having a fresh, clean new fridge. I just unpacked my factor box and found that they have protein shakes now. Cold brew latte. This is like my third caffeine drink of the day, which I think is why I'm getting through Vlogmas this year. I've been just caffeinated, but this is good. Okay, this is my favorite part is showing you guys how I organized the fridge. We have beverages, the new factor protein shakes. We've got some smoothies. Sparkling water. This is all breakfast. So we have some bacon, berries, yogurt, eggs. This is, I would say like, I don't even know how to describe this. Vegetables that are more snacky. This is meats. We've got our veggies over here. I like to have them out so that you pick on them more than you would any snacks. And then this is gonna be for any leftovers. This is our cheese and meat drawer. We've got butter, sour cream, garlic up here. This is more breakfast stuff. We've got jams, our AG1, maple syrup, all of our milks, creamers, that kind of stuff. And then this is gonna be our condiments drawer. This will grow as we continue to cook, but for now I think these are pretty basic to have. This is gonna be our salad dressings again. It will grow. 
And then we've got just random kind of grabby snack things here. And then our Bryson drawer ended up being a freezer. <laughs> so um, I just put grab and go food. We've got a whole bunch of factor meals here, um, leftover meats. And then we have an ice tray and then we have another ice tray down here. Found interesting. Oh no, we don't. Oh my God, I thought we did. Anyway, so this is just frozen stuff. Um, and then this is more frozen like things for breakfast and any desserts or anything. So yeah, it feels so good to have a fridge. There's no excuse to not eat healthy now. So I'm gonna go spend some time with Bryson and then we're gonna cook. I am gonna be making some chili. So these are the ingredients you need. I'm following a recipe I found online and I made before and it's really good. Um, it calls for oyster crackers. I don't know what I was thinking because typically I'll do corn chips with chili, but yeah, got the oyster crackers. And then to top, I'm doing cheddar cheese, sour cream, some avocado, green onion. And then we're gonna do ground beef and some chopped onion. For the sauce, we're doing diced tomato. Um, there's kidney beans in there, tomato sauce, and then tomato paste. There's a little bit of sugar, some beef broth, and then the spices that you need are cumin, some chili powder, garlic powder, and then optional cayenne pepper. I made it without it last time and it wasn't spicy enough. And then obviously salt and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking. Bryson down I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick because I have been having these like momentary realizations if you will a lot lately and it's in terms of just God's timing and just trusting your journey in life that sounds very deep but it's just it just has been coming up a lot and I just thought maybe that's a sign that I need to share it um for people who have heard no lately I'm sitting here thinking what a dream it is to be having a fixer upper and fixing it up and having the means to decorate and do all of this and then having a partner who's in on it as well and I always visualize myself with a family and for some reason when I was younger in a different phase of life I kind of like I don't know just hope that that would happen for me one day and I I really kind of got scared and I was like, I always, I don't know, like I thought like it would never happen. And I was telling Xander, like when we were doing the demo the other day, I can't believe that this is my life right now. I initially wanted to get into real estate. This is like pre YouTube days. I went to school for business management. I was with a company that flipped homes and they kind of did it in a very shady way. Like they were like mass producing and gaining houses through probate and all this stuff like it just wasn't my thing and I always pictured myself like on HGTV you know like fixing up homes and stuff and then I found YouTube and then YouTube became my passion but real estate was my first ever passion like I always told myself even if YouTube never worked out like I would be in some sort of real estate I love like decor I love homes and I think it's because I didn't grow up with a home like my dad had his house but I didn't live with him once I got a little bit older I lived with my mom who kind of bounced around and like we had financial problems and stuff. Having a home to me just means so much. I'm just a homebody, I think, because of it. And homes just give me peace and they represent family and gathering and just coziness that I've always wanted to be able to provide for my family. And I always thought like I would have to do it alone or I like wouldn't have money to do it. YouTube is giving me the platform to do it and still make money from it share the journey all on my own terms it's just this amazing beautiful full circle because if i didn't have if i went into real estate in the beginning and didn't have youtube i wouldn't have this community i wouldn't have the means i don't think to be able to afford this and then if i didn't have xander i wouldn't be able to do it with a partner and i wouldn't have bryson and it's just like it all comes full circle i think xander's mom told me this god gives you three answers when you ask for something it's either yes, no, or not right now. And sometimes that no is not right now. And I can see why back in the day, my real estate 
like track. It wasn't a no, it was a not yet. Having YouTube gave me the permission and the means to be able to do it now. I feel like I'm living in a dream bubble. I can't believe this is my life. This is literally everything I had wanted when I was younger. And if I could go back to my younger self and just say, girl, like it all will work out. Like you will get it and plus some. Cause now I have you guys and I have like this super cool journey. It's just such a cool feeling. And I have a family to do it around with and Z's like so in on it. And we have all these like fun plans and it's just making me so happy. And I just wanted to share with you guys that sometimes your dreams don't come true because you're gonna get it plus some. You just gotta be patient and just let the timing and universe do its thing. And one day you're gonna like sit down and be like, oh my God. I get it now. Like, I totally get it. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, a, it's really cool to turn around. And I love moments in life like this because life is freaking hard, man. These little moments of just understanding and seeing the beauty in it all is just a really cool feeling. And I'm super blessed and thankful to be able to be doing this right now. Like, I just, I really can't believe I'm here. I couldn't have wrote it better. Like, I literally couldn't have. It's all great things, but I'm gonna go edit this video so I can get it out for you guys tomorrow. And I will see you tomorrow and the next day <laughs> and the next day and the next day good night